Okay. So in the last session, we discussed on what are window functions and we discussed aggregate window functions in details. And then we discussed the value based window functions, which includes lead like first value and last value. And the aggregate window functions includes some max, min, average count, etc. So today we will we will be discussing ranking window functions, right? So this function, similar to other aggregate window functions, applies to each row of a partition in a table. So if we are giving a partition by clause, the function will apply for that particular group of records for each row in the order that we specify in order by. And similarly, if we don't specify any partition by, it will consider the entire table as a partition or window, and it will apply the ranking functions to all the records based on the order that we are providing. So one thing to remember, aggregate window functions, the order by clause is optional, but the order by clause is mandatory for ranking window functions and value window functions. So in ranking window functions, what happens? So the ranking function ranks the values in a defined column, right? And then categorizes them based on their rank. So there are three types of ranking window functions, which we most commonly use. The first one is rank function. The second one is dense rank function. The third one is row number functions. So all these three functions are used to define you know, or assign a sequential numbers for a given partition. So there are slight differences on how these functions work and we will look into them in details. So we are going to start with the row number function, right? So what is row number function? So it is used to assign a se unique sequential number to each record within the partition. So again, when we say partition, it can be the entire table which includes all the records, or it can be a group of records defined by partition by, for example, in this case city. So for all the same cities, you know, we will form a group or a partition and then assign the row number. Right? So that's the syntax for it. So the row number will always start with one and it will increase until it reaches the last record in the partition. So in this case, we have eight records, right? So if we don't do a partition based on city, right? If we take a overall table as the partition, then the sequence will go as one to eight. So it will always start with one and go incrementally till it reaches the last record in the given partition. So, and as and when one partition completes, for example, city California completed, so it gave the row number as one and two, then the next city is Florida, it again will reset to one. So again, as and when it will get a new partition or a new window, it will again start with one and continue as many records, continue for as many records are there in the table or in the partition. So the syntax goes like this, the row number, which is the window function, the over clause, then we define the partition. So partition by is optional. So if you want to take it for an entire table level, we don't give partition by. And the order by is compulsory here. We have to provide an order by because based on that order, it will assign the row numbers. For example, in this case for California, if you take example, you know, the row number has been done on a window which was defined by city. So we have California and California two records and the order by was done on first name. Since we did not mention as ascending or descending, it will by default be done on ascending order. So if you see this name, last name, so Bennett and Cox are there. So if you go with alphabetical order in ascending order, B comes first and then C. So the rank goes like this one and two. And if we give a descending order, so for Cox, the rank will be one and for Bennett, the rank will be two. So as we discussed last class, the order by is very important because this defines on which sequence the rows will be you know, displayed and on which sequence the partitions will be applied or the window functions will be applied 
to each row. So clear on this row number definition before we move on and see some examples of how to use the row number. Yeah. Okay. So I have a table here by the name employee salary. So let's do a select start from this table. So here I have nine records. So for engineering department, three entries for HR department, three entries and for R&D department, three entries. So let's say we have a question like this. So we need to assign a unique number to all the employees in employee style table in descending order of their name, right? So when I say this, we did not define any partition. So it will be a table level assignment. So we will have to assign a unique number to all the employees in this particular table. So for this kind of scenarios, we are going to use row number and let's write a query how it will be. So it will be select star all the records. The window function that we are going to use is row number. So over clause, since we are doing it for all the employees, we are not going to define any partition. So our order by clause will be the descending order of their name. So name column is employee name in descending order. And let's name as unique sequence or unique number from employee side table. So let's run this and see. So as you can see, this table had nine records and we did an order by employee name in descending order. So if you see alphabetical order, V comes at the end. So since in descending order, we will be the first one. So then S, then R. For R, there are again two, uh, three values and both. then it will check for the next character. So next character is, is also same, both are RA. Then J is also same. Then N comes higher than RAJ. So Rajneesh came first and H comes in lower to J in descending order. So the Rahul was assigned the least order by the employee name descending. And as we have nine records here, the sequence number starts from one and it goes till nine, right? So this is on a table level. So similarly, we can assign a unique number based on their salary as well, right? So let's say we have this scenario. So now we have to assign a numbering to all the records of this employee table based on their salary in descending order. So in this case, our order by will be on salary, right? So now the guy with highest salary will be the unique number one and the guy with lowest salary will be the unique number nine. So if you see here, the highest salary is 30,000, I guess. So Rajni should come first and the lowest salary here is how much? Uh, 10,000. So Amit should be the last, right? So we can see Rajni, had the highest salary. So now we have ordered based on salary in descending order. Unique number still remains one to nine. So the records will change based on our order by how we select, right? So these two examples are for the cases where we are not defining any window, basically considering all the records from the employee salary table, right? So moving ahead, the next example that we will do now is we will assign a unique number to all the employees in employee salary table for each department. And the order will be same. First is descending order of their name. And second will be the descending order of their salary, for example. So in this case, you want to try what what change we need to do. Yeah. Uh, we need to do two changes. One would be partition by employee department. Partition by Employee department. Uh, that's it. By employee name descending. Okay, descending is already there. So let's see how it goes. Yeah. Now you see the unique number started with one again. We have grouped hmm. by or created a window on employee department. So 
first window for these three employees. So the unique number came as one, two, three. So then there was a reset. The window changed for new department. The unique number again started from one. So it came like one, two, three. And again, there was a reset as it encountered a new department, which was R&D. And again, it gave a unique number in the descending order of their names. So Vipul, Rajneesh, and Akhil. Similarly, Raj, Rahul, and Paul in descending order, order of their name. So the second query here will be to assign the numbering in the descending order of their salary. So this case, it will be reverse. So Paul will come first and Raj will go last, right? In this case, Parul will go first and Sam, okay, Amit will be the last one. And in this case, uh, Rajneesh will go on top and Akhil will come in middle and Vipul should be at the end, right? So. Uh, same query in the order by clause, we will change it with salary. Right. So let's see. Okay. So if you see the salary is in descending order now, and we have, you know, this unique numbers defined. So okay. let's say we have to find out details of find the duplicate salaries. From employee cell table. So sometimes in, in your, uh, you know, uh, while working as a data engineer or as a SQL developer, you might have come across a scenario wherein, you know, you have to find out based on a particular you know, column combinations or a particular column, you need to find out if there are duplicate values or not. And if it is there, you need to eliminate one, right? So it's like find a duplicate salary from employee table. And if exists, retain the employee with uh, what you say name in higher order of name in higher order alphabetically so what i mean here is so first we need to check if there are duplicate salaries in this table so are we seeing any duplicate values here so i know 10000 is a duplicate so there are two employees with 10,000 salary, for example, Raj and Amit, right? And with name in higher order alphabetically. So when we run a query, we will find out there are two employees with 10,000 salary, but we need to display only one employee based on their name in higher order. So if we see alphabetically, Amit will come first and Raj will have a higher precedence because Raj comes at the end, right? So we will only keep Raj and we will delete Amit. We don't want to have hmm. two employees with the same salary. So how do we identify like how many employees are there with same salary and which employees do we have to delete? Right. So for example, for 10,000, I want to delete Amit and there is other salary 20,000. There are also two employees for 20,000. So Vipul, Vipul is the one with highest order as per name in alphabetical order. So I will retain Vipul and I will delete Paul, right? So that is the requirement. So for, for the duplicate salaries, just keep one employee in the table. So for that, first we have to identify which employees have same salaries, right? And then we need to decide which one to delete. So in this kind of scenarios, we will use row numbers. So how we write the query for that? You want to try? I'm not confident on this. Okay, so select star from row number, star and then row number, so over. So we need to do it on a table level. So we will not define any partition at this point, right? So okay. row number, sorry, partition will be on salary. We need to find out unique uh -huh. salary, duplicate salaries, right? 
so we need to do a partition by on salary so basically we are creating window based on salary right and then order on which by, order uh, on employee name in descending descending order mm. as as let's say row num from employee cell table but we have to print only the first one right yeah we will do that right okay. first let's see if this works so we are i yes okay so if you see now it grouped on salary we have created window based on salary for mm -hmm. 10000 there are two employees so the row number came as 1 and 2 then came mm -hmm. 13000 there was a reset 15000 one employee there is a reset you know 20000 mm -hmm. one employee there is a reset and then mm -hmm. 20000 two there is two so this is your inner query right now to identify mm -hmm. which employees we have to delete what we can do we can write a outer query yeah, uh, yeah exactly right or we can do like this delete from delete from right cell employees only where where emp name right in mm -hmm. you can do like this from so it will be a nested sub queries that we are going to use now right so it comes like select employee name from this inner table and while selecting from this table we need to define as where row num equal to 2 2 right and then this becomes our outer query so let's say it would be so what happens in this case first this query will run right this will generate this data set mm. now the second query which is this part will select the names of those the two names who has row number as 2 so it will select amit and paul right and then mm. in this case it will check for the employee names in employee cell table from the output of this query which is paul and other one was amit and it will delete those entries from the employee cell table so this is how we do that right so if we run this query just the inner part right? so you get amit and paul this is our expected results right and then the delete mm -hmm. will delete these entries based on employee name so clear on that uh, we... Sindh, i have a question here mm -hmm. so uh, this is being a small table you know that the max number is 2 here mm -hmm. so you have directly declared where uh, row number is equals to 2 so if you doesn't know the table uh, all the value suppose it has like more than 1000 records how do you do that in that case okay more than one got it okay uh, this would be perfect yeah you can just do like this so any employee details with which having row number more than one for a particular salary will be deleted and once mm, you order by your employee name it will always give you the correct order so the first employee is the one that you have to keep and all the others you can delete Got it. So, so this is how we yeah. use row numbers. Okay. So the next set of ranking window function is the rank function itself. Right. So what does this rank function do? Again, it is used to generate a unique rank, right, for each row in a table based on the specified value. So, but in this case, what happens? if the function gets two records with the same value it will assign the same rank to each of the value and then since it's assigning the same rank it will skip the next order and for the next reset when it finds a new salary for example or the new city it skips the you know number sequentially and it will assign the actual number which should be coming in the sequence for example if you see this table right so we are doing a rank and we are doing a order by on city and city in ascending order so a will come first and b comes last so that's the order so when we do a row number it will what it will give us it will give us values like 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One to eight, it will give. Right? It will start with Alaska with one, and it will go on till eight because there are eight records. But rank, what it will do? It will check in the order, right? How many cities are same? So for Alaska, it gives the rank as one. So there are two entries for California. So it will give the rank as two and two, right? Then Florida comes. So there is a reset. So the rank changed from two. It went to four. Whereas if you notice, it skipped three. So ideally, this should have been three. Right? As per row number, if you see, the third value should be having three. But since we are using rank, and the California values repeated, it assigned same rank to them and skipped three. Similarly, for and then gave us a value four. The next reset gave us a value five. Right. Then there are two entries for New York, so the rank remains same, five and five. So ideally, this should have been six. Right. So when it finds a new city, it gives seven. Basically, it skipped six. And then since both the both are same, Texas and Texas, so it assigned rank seven and seven to both of them. So basically, the based on the order by condition or based on the window that we are defining, right, and on the ranking column. So if there are duplicate entries. It will assign same values to the same values. I mean, same ranks to them, and it will proceed sequentially. And for the next value that it encounters, it will just skip the sequence, and it will assign the next actual value which should be there in the sequence. It will not go equal incrementally, like like one, two. Then the next will not be three. It will just come one, two, two, four. It skipped three. Right. So let's see how we can see this rank. In our example, or we can use it here. So let's have a thing. Rank the employees based on their salary in descending order. Right. So we have the stable employee salary. So we want to rank the employees based on the salary in descending order. So the employee with highest salary will be rank one, and the lowest salary will be the lowest rank, which can come. So let's see how we can do this. So select star comma. This time we will use the rank function. So we are going to rank salary over. So there is no partition by. But we have to order by on salary in descending order as let's say rank from employee salary. And now let's run this. Okay, so we ranked the employees based on their salary in descending order. So the employee with salary thirty thousand. Got the rank one. The next lowest salary was twenty six thousand. The rank was two. The next was twenty one thousand. So the rank was three. Next twenty thousand. Rank got four. Again twenty thousand. So again same rank four. Right. Ideally in row number this this will be five. Right. So but since the rank salaries are same, so the ranks are same. Next lowest salary is fifteen thousand. So the rank if you see six here. Right. It skipped five. Because there was a duplicate for four, right? So the next is thirteen thousand, so it gave seven. Then there is ten thousand, two entries for ten thousand, so it's eight and eight, right? After this, if we had a salary by the name five thousand, right? So it will assign it ten. It will skip nine because we have two entries for eight. Right. Clear on how rank works. Yeah. Okay, and similarly, if we have to rank the employees based on the salary in ascending order, you can just change the order by. Right. So if you now the ten thousand is the lowest salary, so there are two entries with the same rank, so one and one. So the next is thirteen thousand. So it skipped two because for one there were two records. So if there are there was one more entry for ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, and ten thousand, so all three will get the rank one, and then if it comes fifteen thousand, the rank will now be four, 
it will skip two and three. It will go to the next sequence, which is four. Right. And similarly for twenty thousand two entries, so rank is five and five. Then twenty one thousand, it skips six. Then twenty six thousand, it gave eight, and thirty thousand, it gives nine. So in ascending order, we get the ranking from one to nine. In descending order, we get the ranking from one to eight. Right. So this is how ranks change. Now, what will happen if I take this query and I do a order by employee department in ascending order? What will be the ranking? Let's see. You see what happened here? Can you explain me why we are getting like this ranks? Yeah, because uh, the first one, uh, because you're uh, doing order by on engineering department, so uh -huh. it is considering engineering as rank one. Then two is skip, three is skip, HR is four, and again five is skip, six is skip, and R and D is again seven. Right. So it now orders by on engineering. So as and when it encounters same department, it gives the same rank to each department. Then comes the HR department. So we had three. One here, so it skipped two and three. It gave four. So now there are three because for the HR department. So it gave four, four, four rank to all three, and skipped five and six. So then R and D department. So it gave seven to all the other departments. Right. So clear on how rank works. Yeah. So let's run this query one more time in the. And see what is happening. Okay, so here, if somebody will have, you will have a question. Find the employee with fifth. Let's not go with fifth. Let's go with third. I guess salary, Tom. So you want to find the employee with the third highest salary. Right. You want to give it a try. How you want to write the query? Select star. Select star. Tom, rank. Over. Uh, no, we or order by salary. In descending, yeah. as rank from employee salary. Now we would get the ranks. Now we this would be the inner query. Now we have to uh, write the outer query for this one. Select employee name. Employee name. Yeah, I select employee name from away uh, from the inner query where yeah, the outer one where rank equals to three. Okay, so it should give me parul, right? Yeah. Okay, it give you one. Great. So now, if I have to do this, find the employee with fifth highest salary from employee salary table. The same one. Okay, the same one. We don't have rank equal to five because five will be skipped. Yeah. So. If you run this query, will not get any result because there is no employee mm. with rank five. Right? Exactly. So this is the problem. So in real time scenarios, right, where you have to rank the employees or rank the students based on their marks, right? So if the students having the same marks, let's say first ten students in the class have same mark, hundred marks, so all of them are rank one, right? The next students mm. get eleven. Students get eighteen ninety nine, right? He should be the rank two. 
right but if we mm. use rank function he will give, get the rank what so 11 right so in mm. that case we can never find out who is second in class right mm. so yeah. this was the issue with rank function right so if we do this then rank and then run this query you get rahul right mm, now exactly. let's see what dense rank did right this is the same query yeah. let's say we make it d rank copy this here we also display the rank sorry if not here Rank. So now we are having rank and dense rank. Let's see how they are different from each other. So we are taking rank in descending order of their salary. So the rank was one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, eight, right? So same rank for the employees with same salary. Then skips the next rank and gives us six. Dense rank, same thing, thirty thousand. One twenty-six thousand two, twenty-one thousand three. Till here, all same. Same salaries got same ranks four and four. Till here, also all same. For the next salary, fifteen thousand rank actually skipped number five, but dense rank will not skip. It will follow the sequential order. So if there are two hmm. with twenty thousand, it gave four and four. The next one it gave as five, right? And then it moved on to six, and then seven and seven, right? So in this way. in interview if you get any questions right find out the nth highest salary always remember we have to use dense rank because if we use okay. rank we will encounter encounter this kind of scenarios we might skip some ranks and we might not get that value but so we have discussed about hacker rank right so if you create a profile in hacker rank and then you solve some problems right they will rank you based on the points mm. that you earn for sql and in hacker rank they follow this rank concept sorry dense rank concept mm. so so if you see in rank 1 there will be lakhs of people you know then you come rank 2 mm. like that so this was all on ranking window functions